Hello friends. We're going to read this story, Caps for Sale. It's a wonderful old classic story. It's actually one of my favorites. And it's about this peddler. And a peddler is somebody who sells things and he sells all these caps. And what's interesting is where he, how he carries the caps and what happens when he takes a nap under a tree. So let's see what happens. This book is kind of long, but you can participate with me. And afterwards, I'm gonna send you some activities to do. Okay, here we go. Let's do the story song. Knock on the door, turn the knob, peek inside, walk on in. for sale. This story is by Esra Slobodinka. Nope, I'm saying that wrong. Slobakina. That's wrong too. Here we go. Oops. Caps for sale. Once there was a peddler who sold caps. But he was not like an ordinary peddler, carrying his ways, carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on the top of his head. This is a big book, so it's hard to. First he had his own checked cap. Then he had a bunch of gray caps. Then he had a bunch of brown caps. Then a bunch of blue caps. And on the very top was a bunch of red tops, caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. As they went along, he called out, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, said he. And he walked out of town slowly, slowly, so as to not upset his caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he, and he sat down very slowly under the tree, and he leaned back a little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel as if they were straight. First, he felt his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and then the red caps on the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep. <sighs> and he slept for a long time. And when he woke up, he was refreshed as he could be, fully rested. But look, what's missing? But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. And all he felt was his own checked cap. He looked to the right, no caps. He looked to the left, no caps. He looked in back of him, no caps. He looked behind the tree, no caps. Here comes my favorite part. And then he looked up in the tree 
And what do you think he saw? Anybody have any ideas? Here we go. On the, every branch sat a monkey, and on every monkey was a gray, or a brown, or a blue, or a red cap. The monkey's got the caps. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you! Shaking a finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and they said, tis, 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 tis. My book is falling. This made the peddler very angry, so he shook both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you! You give me back my caps! But the monkeys only shook both of their hands back at him and said, Tis, tis, tis! Tis, tis, tis. Now he was feeling quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you, you better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and they said, Tis, 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 tis. By this time, the peddler was really very angry. He stamped both feet and he shouted, you monkeys, you, you must give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped both of their feet back at him and they said, tis, 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 tis. At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his cap and he threw it on the ground and he began to walk away. What do you think is going to happen? But then each monkey pulled off his cap. <gasps> now the peddler sees something. And all the gray caps and all the brown caps, and all the blue caps, and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, and the brown caps, and the blue caps, and then the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling, Caps for sale! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! The end. So, that was a really fun story. It's my favorite story. I love that peddler. He tries to do many things to get the caps back, but he's not successful until the very end. Monkeys see what monkeys do. So now I'm gonna send you some sheets to fill out. Have fun, hope you enjoyed the story. Bye.